Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. Meet Logan Roy, a cat who's clearly done a lot of brawling in his four years. Logan Roy arrived at the shelter with a severely infected neck wound. He needed foster care for a few weeks so that the wound could be cleaned and monitored. So I stepped up and said I'd take him. Logan Roy was a tough street cat, not fixed, and most likely he got this wound because he got in a fight, got a bite, and it abscessed and infected. It's a nasty wound, and if it's not treated, it could be deadly. He also had lice, so the clinic shaved him, and I'm treating him for that too. Before he left the clinic, Logan Roy was given an injectable antibiotic called Convenia. He was also sent home with oral antibiotics. My job for the first two weeks was to flush the neck wound with a Chlorhex and iodine solution. And Logan Roy is actually pretty good about letting me do this. Once that is dried, I apply a silver sulfadiazine cream, also known as SSD cream, Doing these treatments actually seems to be comforting to Logan Roy. I don't know if it's because the wound itches as it heals and my applying the cream to it soothes him, but he doesn't give me any sign of discomfort and even starts to purr. After his one week checkup, the vet tells me to put the SSD cream on only one time a day because she wants the wound to have enough air so that the skin can kind of start to dry up a little, which will help it heal. On top of his neck wound and lice, he also has ringworm and an ear infection. But Logan Roy loves it when I clean his ears. It's his favorite thing. Logan Roy is a good boy, but he's also a tough guy. He's obviously had a really hard life. So he's got that really gruff, kind of personality that you can't help but love. Here's Logan Roy about a month after I first brought him home, and you can see that the wound has made a big, big improvement. When I first got him, the wound was about four centimeter in diameter, and now it's about half of that, and the skin is starting to grow in. He's looking good. Logan Roy's temperament has come a long way too. He now trusts me and he knows I just want to help him and he's not lashing out the way he was before. He is really a sweet, sweet boy. So what's next for this tough guy with a heart of gold? Well, he'll get fixed and then he is going to be up for adoption. He's FIV positive, but he's very healthy and he's a really great cat with a really cool personality. So I know we'll find a good home for him someplace. Some of you may recognize the name Logan Roy from the fantastic television series, Succession. But I was so excited to find this video clip where the actor who plays Logan Roy, Brian Cox, talks about the importance of spaying and neutering pets. And he interviews a cat. I put the link to the entire video in the description, but here's a clip. I'm Brian Cox. But you know that already, yeah? Oh, Shakespeare. Braveheart, Rob Roy, X-Men. No? Oh, Succession, TV. Oh, I see. Right, well, uh, let's get on, shall we? Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. And if you are subscribed, make sure you have your notifications on so you never miss another Kitten School video. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now!